Let me know if you own rubber gloves. I have a lease here at uh, the Sasquatch Ranch with an option to buy. Drop your shorts and bend over, Mr. Babar. Welcome to Off Grid and Whiskey, you awesome squashers. There is a hoser dozer. And that wheel right there on the other side, the Billy Idler, is not centered. I got a shim now. And so let's put the shim on, the goal of the video, and drive it back and forth and see if that wheel centers up better so the track, that's the ultimate problem, that track wants to come off. You feel that steam heat coming? That's from my undercarriage. Okay. That's the piece of steel panther that needs to go right there. I need to drill a couple holes so I can bolt it in place. Inch and a half up, inch and a half over. X marks the spot. Let's put the X in sex. What a stupid saw. <laughs> You've got to use thread cutting oil on your bits. They last 98% longer. Just like when you take the blue pill. There we go. All right, a perfect fit. My girl likes to party. This plate will go here. All right, I got the first hole drilled. Now I got to drill a second one. <laughs> Nonsense. Oh, 1980, what? When you were 17? Whoa, my oil! Oh no! I should have saw that coming on my thought thoughts. That's expensive drilling oil right there. It's just like the time when uh, Ted Kennedy uh, was against offshore drilling. You know, speaking of drilling oil. <laughs> and, uh, they. Another congressman had someone take long lens photos of him out in the ocean naked with a scantily clad girl the water up to his waist. You know, she's riding him. And uh, at the next hearing with offshore drilling, they threw that big photo of him up on the wall. And the congressman goes, oh, looks like my constituent from Massachusetts just changed his position on offshore drilling. Yeah. <laughs> There needs to be a little gap so that wheel can go up and down the rail on a crazy train there, right? Wrong! Very subtle difference, but you can see one's thicker than the other, and I really think that's going to matter. Ooh, you see that? I don't know if you saw it, but the wheel went this way. Oh, that might be just right. All right, done deal. A little MacGyver-ish looking, but yeah, if I came here to buy this, I'd be looking at it going on. All right, someone's high. There we go. I can see that track moving. I gave it about nine pumps and a quiver. That's about par for the course these days. <laughs> the Coupe de Gracie, the Opus Magnum, duct tape. I'm just gonna wrap the whole hoser dozer in duct tape, just in case. This duct tape brought to you by Ted Bundy and his 1967 Volkswagen Beetle. I need to get in the mud and really experience the hoser dozer with some work. I'm confident that something happened. 
<laughs> I told her that the next morning. <laughs> Even though she didn't believe me. All right, stay tuned. I'll keep you updated on the hoser dozer. <laughs> it's a long road, Rambo, when you're on your own. It's a long road when you're on your own. And it hurts when they tear your dreams apart. And every new town just seems to bring you down.